Welcome back to Jack's Meat Shack. Once again, we're in California and we're cooking meat from the Bel Campo Meat Company. This is one of their Boston butts. Take a second to look at this. Look at that, it's beautiful. Look how marbled it is. In this little spray can, I've got some apple juice. I'm just gonna give the butt some yeah, apple, juice apple juice to help the rub stick to it. And then we're gonna use the Plowboys pork rub. Good liberal coating from a height so we don't miss any of the meat. I mean, once again, look how marbled that meat is. That's amazing. Don't be shy with your rub. This is a big bit of meat, five kilos in fact. So you want enough to cover the surface of the meat so you can't actually see it anymore. And what we're gonna do once we've coated all sides of the Boston butt is we're gonna spray it again with some apple juice just to let that rub set, let it stick to the surface of the meat. You may have noticed I'm using the one-handed method, one hand glove, the other hand not. So the gloved hand I use to touch the meat, the other hand I use to touch the rubs, good food hygiene. In the meat it goes, we're gonna use this to monitor our cook. We're gonna cook this indirect on the Kamado Joe Classic 2. I'm just getting the mother-in-law to open the lid to show her how easy it is to use this thing and getting her to close it again, just like so. During the cook, Every hour, I'm gonna open up the lid like so, get my little spray bottle full of apple juice and give the pork a little spritz just to help it stay moist. This pork took eight hours to cook at 135 degrees. Then I let it rest for a good hour in a cool box. So keep your pork moist. Apple juice is your friend. You can use stock or any other liquid. I quite like apple juice because it gives a nice sweet taste to the pork. And as I mentioned, after about eight hours of smoke, we're gonna take this little pork butt off, put it in our little foil pan here, wrap it in some foil, and then we're gonna put it in a cool box to rest. This is gonna help your meat relax. You think if you're in a nice warm house and all of a sudden you go somewhere freezing cold, you start to clench up, don't you? And you're like, oh, it's cold. So what we want to do is we want to keep the meat relaxed. So all the juices redistribute around it and it will be right nice and yummy like. As I mentioned, cool box time. Get your cool box, plop your meat in the cool box and close the lid. And then in about an hour's time, we'll be ready to pull this thing apart. Time to wheel the pork away. Oh, come on pork, off you come. Nine hours after we started the cooking process, let's see if this pork is done. Oh yes, that's a good sign. That shoulder blade has just come right out. The meat is falling off. Don't, for the life of you, throw these juices away keep them. What I'm going to do now is take the pork out, shred it, and then I'm going to put it back into this dish with these juices and then add some barbecue sauce. And that, ladies and gents, is pulled pork on the Kamado Joe. I mean, check out those juices. You don't want to waste them. Full of flavour, apple juice, rub, bit of fat from the pork. They are the amber nectar. Thanks once again for joining me at Jack's Meat Shack and big thank you to Bill Campo Meat Company for this amazing pork butt. Look at it, it's falling apart. It's amazing. Thanks once again. 
don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and i will see you again pretty soon bye bye